Berkeley, the Terrible Sleeper by Mitchell Charmat, illustrated by Renee Zaria. Once upon a time, there were three bears. No, not those three bears. These were three other bears, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Little Berkeley Bear. I'm a regular little bear in a regular bear family, Berkeley liked to say proudly. But that wasn't quite true. Unlike most bears, Berkeley was a terrible sleeper. Every night in their cave, Papa Bear would yawn and say, Oh, time for bed. And Berkeley would always say, I'm not tired. In early fall, his parents became worried. If Berkeley can't sleep through one night, Mama Bear said, how can he sleep until spring? At breakfast one morning, Papa asked Berkeley, what are your plans for winter? Berkeley looked up from his cereal. Mama and I are going to bed for the winter, Papa explained. For the whole winter? asked Berkeley. That's what bears do said Papa. When Berkeley went out to play, Mama and Papa called the doctor for advice. We need your help, Dr. Bruin, Papa said. Berkeley doesn't want to go to bed for the winter. Get him a copy of my book, Sleepy Time Sloth Stories, said Dr. Bruin. It will put anyone to sleep. That night, Mama and Papa gave the book to Berkeley and went to bed. They could hear him laughing as he stayed up all night reading about sloths. The next morning, Berkeley asked Mama, Why are sloths so sleepy? I don't need much sleep at all. We know, said Papa. Ugh, so much for sleepy sloths, Mama groaned. Winter kept getting closer. So Papa and Mama kept trying to help. Let's take them to a concert, said Mama. Violin music is kind of like a lullaby. The music was like a lullaby for Papa and Mama Bear. They fell asleep. Berkeley did not. He tapped his back paws and clapped his front paws. He shouted, Bravo! and woke up Mommy. So much for concerts, she said. Soon, snow started to fall. It was time for most bears to go to sleep for the winter. Mama and Papa tucked Berkeley into bed. Berkeley, they said, here is your winter hug and kiss. See you in the spring. Berkeley tried to settle down. I can't sleep, he soon cried out. Papa droned, tell yourself, my head is getting heavy, my eyes are getting heavy, my legs are getting heavy, my stubby tail is getting heavy. Berkeley still tossed and turned. Papa said, you want a glass of water, right? Wrong, Berkeley answered. Mama said, you want us to read you a story, right? Wrong, Berkeley answered. You want us to check under your bed for the big bad skunk? Papa asked. No water, no story, no skunk, Berkeley said, shaking his head. Mama Bear yawned. She turned to Papa. I suppose we could start winter tomorrow night, she said. What's another night, he agreed. So they stayed up with Berkeley. The next day, Papa called Dr. Bruin. Huh? What? groaned Dr. Bruin. Sorry to wake you, said Papa. But Berkeley still isn't sleepy. I'm afraid he might stay up all winter, Dr. Bruin yawned. Leave him lots of things to do and lots of food to eat. And please don't call me until spring. Papa thanked the doctor. Then he bought games, books, and a cave wall coloring set for Berkeley. Meanwhile, Mama made 400 honey sandwiches. They carried everything to Berkeley's room and kissed him on the forehead. Oh, 
Have a happy winter, yawned Papa. Have a sleepy winter, yawned Mama. And they went to bed. Berkeley wasn't sleepy, so he played some games. Then he painted on the walls with his coloring set, but he still wasn't sleepy. Berkeley sighed. As long as I'm up, maybe I can learn something. He picked up a book about dancing and began to read. In December, he learned to dance on all four paws. In January, he learned to dance on his two back paws. In February, he learned to dance on his two front paws. All the while, Papa and Mama slept on. Finally, the snow melted and spring arrived. Papa and Mama Bear sat up in bed and stretched. When they got up, they found Berkeley asleep. What a good little bear, Mama whispered. He fell asleep in his own way. Ten days later, Berkeley woke up. What do you want to do today? asked Papa. I want to show you what I learned over the winter, said Berkeley. Berkeley danced on all four paws. He danced on two back paws. And he danced on two front paws. Guess what, Berkeley said. After I learned to dance, my stubby tail got tired. My legs got tired. And then I got tired and fell asleep. Papa looked at Mama. Mama looked at Papa. Did he just need to dance all along? Mama asked. They both looked at Berkeley. The next day, they took Berkeley to his first dance class. Soon, he was a star. That's our little bear, Mama said to Papa. Turns out, Berkeley was born to perform, Papa said proudly. And to sleep, Mama added. As long as he danced, Berkeley never had trouble sleeping again. That was Berkeley the Terrible Sleeper by Mitchell Charmat, illustrated by Renee Correa.